born in Stockholm. Uh, I'm a chemist. That means that I'm well. I'm not an IT specialist. I'm not a developer. But I do know enough coding to have a meaningful conversations with developers. My background is from oil field chemistry. Uh, I have been in the field, uh, working 20 years as a chemist and designing solutions, designing chemistry, uh, working on laboratory services. And here I'm consolidating all that knowledge into a solution that will help uh, customers to improve on their chemical management and flow assurance and integrity management. This is what I will be talking about. Now, so there be welcome to Chemistry 101. Well, only a small bit, because I will talk a little bit for those who are not chemists, but also I will focus more on the cost and the impact of oil field chemistry. So when you're talking about oil field chemistry, if you think about production. Um, you are tracking the operational parameters, the production parameters, but then if you add another dimension, if you go deep into the fluid itself, there is the uh, chemical reactions on the molecular level, and this creates a complex system that uh, changes over time with uh, operational conditions and causes problems like uh, deposits for, from scale, from wax, uh, from hydrates, or even integrity problems for, uh, impacting materials like cor corrosion, erosion. And all of that impacts uh, production, it impacts revenue, it increases maintenance, um, and not to mention uh, the quality. You're selling a product, you're selling the oil, you're selling gas, and you need to have the high spec product, which you need chemicals to re reduce water and uh, BSW. In order to deal with this, there has to be treatment strategies. Now, when you de design a strategy, you have to uh, know your system. You have to know what's happening. You need to know why it's happening. You need information. You need data. You need to interpret the data. You need to know the risk. Is, there a, is the system at risk? Is it change of risk? So all of that comes from information. So you need a quality information so to make decisions. Now, if you look at treatments, there are usually two types of treatments. Uh, on one side, there is what, what I would call a cure. So that means if a problem has occurred, you need to fix it. That's typically a mechanical solution, uh, intervention, replacement of, of an equipment, uh, even chemical uh, treatments, which is associated with high cost because you are spending money on uh, equipment people and there's a downtime on, uh, while you're doing the operation. The flip side is to be more uh, uh, proactive to prevent so you but then you need to know something about the system you need to know something about the risk when the risk changes you need to monitor you need to be agile have an agile treatment strategy so you can make smaller changes to avoid a bigger problem to occur like material selection like operational uh, conditions and of course chemical using of chemicals which is more common because if you are uh, saving in on the material which often happens because that has a high investment cost you rely on uh, spending uh, chemicals later to treat your system so how does that look so what is the benefit what can you do with this? Well, let's look at, look at an example. Now, this is a thought case uh, based on experience. It's not a, a real field, but it is uh, something I've seen over time that is a typical uh, scenarios. So we'll look at the four different scenarios when you are looking at oil field chemistry and digitalization of oil field chemistry. Obviously, you are you want to save time. So if uh, you're spending time on spreadsheets, uh, there's a lot of time going to, to collect information and uh, assess information and, and, and um, uh, analyze information. So obviously there is something you can save. Um, it is maybe not the huge uh, amount you can save, but there is obviously a uh, a potential here, but you have to change your workflow. You have to look at how you're working, interacting with any system. On the chemical side, when you're using chemical, is often a 
focus on reducing. You don't want to spend enough chemicals. You have a feeling that you're overspending. How can you re reduce it? And of course, if you don't have enough information, not, not enough data, it's very difficult to know if you're overspending. But I want to see it on a different side. I want to see it that what happens if you underspend, if you're un underdose, if you are not having a right treatment strategy, and this impacts production and, ma and maintenance and equipment. So if you don't have a good strategy, if you're underdosing or even using the wrong chemical, uh, the impact would be that you're still going to have bottlenecks, uh, you, your li lifetime of equipment is going to be reduced, you have to increase your maintenance, and you cannot really do production optimization without addressing the flow assurance and the integrity. So with data and, in, and processing data into more useful information, you're able to uh, make better assessment, better uh, decisions that will in end make small tunings that you can create higher value and reduce cost and increase the revenue. So those are actually two of the uh, biggest areas you will see that you can save when you take the focus a little bit away from looking at how just to reduce a chemical. Now, when we're designing an oil-free chemistry solution, it's about processes, it's about people, how people interact with processes, how you are being more effective, uh, how you are uh, using those processes uh, uh, with a system you, and having it data-driven, that your decision is based on data, on, inf on quality information. And it starts with the field. So it starts with taking samples, uh, doing analysis, measurements, uh, managing chemicals, uh, and interventions, uh, treatments, uh, mixing that with what you know about your, the production, to, and, and to ensure that you have a safe and efficient operation, or by operating by risk. So you are looking at the risk and how the risk changes. Now, talking about safe and efficient operation, obviously quality, health and safety is a part of it. And that leads me also to a little segue into uh, something that will be coming, is uh, uh, how to reduce the carbon footprints as part of the whole hydrocarbon management chain, which is, this is a part of. And we will be looking at reducing how, how to reduce uh, uh, emissions, so looking at tracking emissions, greenhouse gases, that will come soon, so please follow us, and uh, you will see more coming from us on that topic uh, later. Easy chemistry. What is it? Well, it's an uh, extension to EC. It, uh, it means that it adds something. It doesn't replace anything. It adds more information that you already have. You know your production, you know your operational parameters. Now you're adding that measurements of this complexity of oil field chemistry uh, with chemical management, uh, knowing your inventories, uh, predicting your inventories, injections, dosage, performance, uh, to uh, sampling, analysis, measurements, and bringing all that together using data automations. Uh, what is easy has a great uh, automation tool like uh, BPM and process automation, doing uh, pr uh, automated calculations. That eventually brings this in into easy reporting and analytics, where you can really look at the data. You can know your risk. You can know how, see how it changes using dashboards, and you can make uh, quick and and informed decisions. And if you want to, you can drill down uh, and you can really analyze the data and to know what's happening and find the root cause. So that was a very quick overview of what oil field chemistry is, what we're doing, and what we can bring to the table. But I'm be more than happy to tell you more about this. So you can see our uh, QR code. So please scan the QR code, register, and I'll be ready f to have a deep dive with you guys and tell you more about what we can do for you. Thank you so much.